Welcome to the World Tarot. This is the series Divine Feminine Diaries for the 18th of June 2022. Today I had to redo this reading over and over again and I'm already exhausted <laughs> trying to redo the reading. <laughs> but every single time I tried to record the video, I wanted to say 18th of March. So somebody could definitely be born on the 18th of March. That's Pisces season. It's almost on the cusp of Par Pisces and Aries. So somebody could be born on that day or it could be significant in some way for somebody. Yes, okay. <laughs> Uh, another caveat, most of the people who are actually watching these Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine readings are usually karmics, okay? That's the case not only for my channel, but for most Twin Flame readers. Most of the people they're actually reading for, unbeknownst to them, are karmics, okay? So uh, that kind of energy, that's why some of these readings are very negative, very dark, okay? There are people who are in distorted feminine or distorted masculine energy, but these people have convinced themselves that they are divine feminine or divine masculine. Some of these people actually have personality disorders that makes them very grandiose. They, they makes them feel like they are special in some way, even though there's no evidence in the 3D realm that they are special. So a lot of these people are actually narcissists. That's why Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine readings can be so dark, okay? It's not necessarily because Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine people who are actually standing in their power are actually doing these things. It's mainly karmics who are doing the things that we are reading about. So the caveat, that's why these readings are the way they are. Holy Spirit, show me the Divine Feminines who need to hear these messages. Oh my God, Tower Moment. Could be a Scorpio. Oh my God, as I said, Scorpio, Three of Cups. This could be a group, a coven. The divine feminines could form a coven, they, or they could be witches, they could be intuitives. It's not necessarily a bad thing. Let's see. The two of cups is in the upright, okay? Could be Pisces, right? Because I did say 18th of March, that's in Pisces season. This could be a Pisces female, or... I, I do get a lot of Pisces energy in my reading, so I have. I think I have multiple Pisces watching me. Some of them are in high vibration, some of them are in low vibration. Nine of Cups, more Pisces energy. 29, somebody could be 29 and they could be a Pisces. Maybe they're born on the 18th of March too, but not necessarily. That, that, these could resonate for different people. Six of Swords. This person um, could be traveling. They could be getting their wishes fulfilled to travel with somebody they love. Um, this person could be going on honeymoon right now or just uh, some kind of holiday with somebody that they have an interest in. Ace of Wands, this could be a new love, this could be somebody they feel a lot of passion for. King of Swords could be an air sign that they're dealing with, so this could be a Pisces dealing with an air sign. Ten of Swords reversed. So they could have been dealing with this person for a long time, and this person doesn't want the relationship to end, or both of them don't want the relationship to end. And now they could be going on some kind of trip, some kind of holiday, so they can rekindle their romance possibly. Three of Pentacles reversed. Ten of Swords and Three of Pentacles reversed. Four of Pentacles reversed. 34 could be significant. Somebody could be 34 or 29 here. And Two of Pentacles reversed. Okay, so what I'm getting here is that 342 could be significant. This could be a time, 342. Or it could be an address, 342. Or it could be a part of a telephone number. Okay. So there's no balance in this relationship. Somebody doesn't want to let this end. Could be this King of Swords doesn't want to let this relationship end. Maybe both of them don't. But this relationship should be let go of because it's not balanced. It's not a healthy relationship. So maybe you feel like it's a wish fulfillment that this person wants to take you somewhere. But this person is not going to treat you well. That's what I'm getting here. Holy Spirit, talk to me about this King of Swords. What are their intentions towards this Divine Feminine? King of Cups. Okay, they do want love with you. Three of Wands. They could be manifesting you. Or they, wanna, um, they want to have love with you and they want to travel with you somewhere. Maybe they want you to relocate to be with them or they want to relocate to be with you or they just want to take you on a trip somewhere. Okay. 
four of cups reverse they don't want to be rejected by you this person might take a leap of faith to express themselves because they um they don't want to be away from you i guess they don't yeah six of cups they're gonna make some kind of love offer 46 could be significant this guy could be 46 or 34 or 29 or you could be 29 34 46 42 okay bingo we've got some numbers here whatever it could resonate for somebody okay five of swords queen of cups there was an issue between you and this person okay should you take this person back knight of cups eight of wands three of swords heartbreak okay this person's a heartbreaker knight of cups they're gonna love bomb you they want to have sex with you they want to travel with you they want to have fun with you but then they're gonna leave you again or they're gonna break your heart okay so you need to let this die 34 again 34 twice somebody could definitely be 34 who resonates with this there's a new offer here from somebody else so who is the new person hmm two of swords you've got a choice between two <gasps> do you see what i'm seeing three four two three four two came out twice that is very significant for somebody so like i said it could be a part of a phone number or it could be address they might want to meet you at this address or this might be your address or their address what about three four two what is this three four two here what does three four two mean in this situation Seven of Wands reversed. King of Wands. Yeah, I think I think it's an address. Seven numbers. What has seven numbers? The phone numbers have seven. No, they have more numbers than seven. No, I don't know. It could be a phone number. Whatever. Anyway, Eight of Swords. So this person's a karmic, somebody who oversteps your boundaries, walks all over your boundaries, and wants to keep you stuck. Ten of Wands, they're a burden to you. Yeah, they... Okay, this person's karmic as hell. Okay, so who is the new person? Do you have somebody who's not karmic coming towards you? Three of Wands, Queen of Wands. You could be manifesting a fire sign here. Or this fire sign could be manifesting you. This could be somebody who's spiritual. Could be a Sagittarius or an Aries, possibly. Can you trust this person? Okay, yes, you can. There you go. So there's another person, a fire sign. This could be an air sign or a water sign that you're dealing with right now. Who doesn't want this uh, karmic relationship to end. But there's somebody new who's manifesting you. You might not even know this person. This person could be manifesting you, not necessarily you, but they could be manifesting their ideal partner and it could just so happen to be you, okay? So talk to me about this Queen of Wands. We have the Queen of Cups reversed. I don't think you're interested in this person or you don't know about this person or you're not listening to your intuition about this person. Four of Wands. This is your true counterpart with the Four of Wands. The four, they want to come towards you or they will soon five of pentacles you're together in the 5d okay knight of wands definitely this person has a lot of fire in their chart predominantly that's what i'm getting and this person could be coming towards you soon you might meet this person somewhere how are you going to meet this person how are you going to meet this person knight of pentacles maybe at work this could be somebody you might meet at work or through your work whatever your work is this person's gonna talk to you they're gonna be very talkative i feel because yeah if they have a lot of fire in their chart they could be a, a very fast talker they could talk a lot they could be very passionate so seven of cups You've got lots of options. That's what I'm getting. So this is going to be one of the many options coming towards you. So it's not just these two people. There's going to be many. There are going to be many men coming towards you. And that's what I was getting in the Divine Masculine reading. Ten of Cups. But one of them is your Ten of Cups. And it could be this fire sign. Okay. Two of Wands. 
Seven of Swords reversed, Queen of Swords. In, yes, it's this fire sign, okay? This person could be watching you, could be watching you at work. This could be a supervisor or somebody you already work with. Or this is somebody you're going to start working with soon. If you um, have your own business, um, if you have an online platform, they're watching your platform, stuff like that, you know? And this person's going to reveal themselves, I think. They're going to talk to you. And again, I'm getting that this is a fire sign. Most likely Aries or Sagittarius. Nine of Pentacles. They could have Virgo in their chart. Also, this person could be uh, very financially stable. They have their own business. They could be uh, self-employed. They have their own business. Eight of Cups. Hmm. So how are you going to meet this person? Like I said, I think this person might talk to you. Seven of Pentacles. Again, with work, 97 could be significant. You're going to meet this person through your work. That's what I'm getting. This, If you have provide some kind of service, they might um, use your services or you might end up using their services. Or if you work together, you might work together in an office or somewhere. Nine of Swords. But you could be very anxious. Maybe you're not going to trust this person. You're going to be in your head about this person. This person might want to work with you too. Okay, so who is this? The f yes, this person might want to work with you. It might be you might be anxious. You might not want to work with them, or I don't know. You might feel like you might think something's off, but it's not off. I don't know. Okay, six of wands, victory. Yeah. So you will think you're gonna be overthinking. You're gonna be thinking that this person is not right for you. But actually, it is. Ten of Pentacles reversed. King of Pentacles. So you might not want to work with this person. This person could... Hmm. Does this person have financial difficulties or something? Is, is this person going through some kind of financial trouble? Oh, this person could be separating from somebody with a Ten of Pentacles reversed. He could be married. King of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, he's, he's separating. He's separating from another person. Look, all the free aces are here. That's interesting. And he might want to come towards you after he separates from this person. So this could be somebody who's already interested in you. Could be some kind of secret admirer. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, this guy already feels like you're the Queen of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles reversed. So they're leaving a third party to be with you. But like I said, this person, you might not even know this person yet. But this person could know you or they could know of you. They could even be your boss at work. I don't know. Okay. But anyway, uh, yes, this person could be your boss, like I said. Or they know you. They've seen your work. They could be an admirer of your work. Okay, so there you go. That's the message here. And this person's going to approach you after they separate from some kind of relationship they're in right now. <sighs> okay. Anything else about this new person? Anything else? King of Wands, Five of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, Five of Cups. This per uh, again, th there could be lots of competition here. Oh, this person could work in the same niche as you. You might consider them to be your competitor. Hmm. Is this person um, some kind of competitor? Yeah, maybe that's how they found you. That's how they're... Um, yeah, definitely. So like I said, either they're your boss at work and you both do a, a similar thing at work right you don't have different uh you might not have different job descriptions they could be similar but he could have more experience or you do not necessarily um but also um this person could have found you because you work in the same niche as them so that's why they're the competition yeah that's why they're the competition for you King of Wands again comes up again. Also, um, there could be another guy who's competing for your attention. The King of Wands could be another guy. Look, he keeps wanting to come out. But anyway, I don't have so many cards left. Right, so um, yeah, again with the work. It's something that you're going to meet through work. You're, it's somebody you're going to meet through your work. That's the person who is truly meant for you.
That's all.